Guys, it's time to modify the LMT. Got a Reefs Raw 500 right here. Got a Castle Monster X ESC right here. Got a Holmes Polar Pro 540 XL 2100 KV right here. This motor right here should be awesome and smooth. I don't really like the cogging of the stock motor. And it's going to be getting a GT5 radio right here. The reason I use the GT5 over the RC6 GS is simple ergonomics. Driving one-handed, I gotta be a little picky. And the GT5 fits the bill really well. Now, all this is about to go in and we're gonna take it for a drive. Take a look. Swapping this system into this truck, it actually looks really simple, especially compared to some of the other ones. I mean, ESC is just simply bolted in place. That's gonna come up. The new ESC will pop right down in there. Receiver, right there, pop the top off. You get to that pretty easy. Servo. It's right out there in the open. Now, one thing I do want to say is the Spectrum line of servos use a 23 spline horn, so all that servo saver is coming off. So, and then the motor, let's see here. Let's get this thing flipped up and around. There we go. The motor is actually pretty simple. We just simply take the cover off. Uh, right here behind the slider slider <laughs> the nerf bar and you can get to all that so then the motor just simply slide right out to that direction now rather than me do all this step by step I'm just simply going to get the job done and show you guys the highlights so I've got a little bit of an issue here the Monster XESC, which I really think the truck of this weight needs it, just barely won't fit. And there's no way I'm cutting into this chassis. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a spacer out of a piece of nylon and space that up so we can actually go right in place. However, we're going to continue with the install. It's a shame this is 23 spline because that is a nice servo saver. Now with that cover off, you can see the motor is really easy to get to. Okay, so the motor is out. Right there is a 14 tooth. We're gonna go ahead and bump that up to the maximum of 16 tooth. Holmes puller looks to be pretty much the same length. Now this is what's interesting. This is the stock motor out of the Essen, the uh, LMT right there. This is the stock motor out of the laser nut. Look at that. Quite a big difference, huh? Interesting. Now, this is only a 1900 KV. Maybe it's good for, you know, 4S as where this is a max of 3S, so. That's probably it. This is going to get 4S. When you do this job, make sure you don't drop the little washer down in there because it will drop right on down. And that will probably go through your gears and won't be good at all. Motor's in place with a 16 tooth pinion gear. This is as fast as it can be geared in its current form. I say current. I do see some new gear cases being made to allow us to really adjust these ratios. Here we have the RAW 500. I have probably 10 of these servos now, and they're in everything that goes fast. Yeah, thing is awesome. I've got this uh, servo saver I've got off of eBay. I'm gonna give it a try. If it works, good. If not, I'm gonna put a normal straight arm on this and hope for the best. Well, so let's check this out. <laughs> uh, Ain't hey, no way I'm leaving that. Wow. Looks like I'm going to put a straight horn on it. When you do something like this on a vehicle like this, with all the wheel offset and all that, this is going to be a lot of abuse for the servo, the gears and everything, horn and all. So you get a lot of accuracy with it. So that's phenomenal. But if you blow the gears out of your servo, it doesn't matter what brand they are. You know, this is, that's on you. Because there is no, there's no forgiving, there's no giving in the system at all here. 
I mean, sure the plastic may give a little bit. That might be your only saving grace, but yeah, if I strip out these gears or just completely kill the servo, I'm just out of luck. Simple as that. And by doing something like this, you really need to accept that. <laughs> Let's start off with a speed run on 3S here. Now I am hiding behind my vehicle. It is windy out here. So yeah, I might try to get some more footage and all that, but you may hear some music. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and get this 3S speed run off. Let's go ahead and give it a good pull. All right, that's a, that's promising. Let's see what we got here. Three S. That's actually pretty good. I wanted a good, solid 3S truck, basically. So let's go ahead and get that 4S in it. I forgot to show you guys the speed. 26.2 miles per hour. That's not bad. Now let's see what this 4S has. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at 26.2. It should get faster and it'll still pick up that maximum speed. Let's get a pull on this thing. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Me liking. <laughs> Woo. That's nice. <laughs> How's that for a wheelie? Whoa! That was awesome. 34.4. That's awesome. That is awesome. Ah! So I'm kind of wondering if maybe with those three degree chubs off of this thing, maybe it'll get a donut. I doubt it. Nope. Let's try it on some more loose terrain. Okay. Got that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we got some more hard surface. Let's try to rip a donut here. not gonna lie to you guys I like this right here this is awesome I've always been a donut guy um don't really like the rollovers but still although this isn't really what it's meant for huh, it's RC right There it was. I like the uh, no cogging thing. <laughs> What's on the back side? Let's get over there. I gotta tell you, it looks a little mean up there. <laughs> I'm 
I'm still on 4S, by the way. This thing runs great on 4S. Now, I'm not trying to break the axle housings, but I really want to hit this. Let's see. <laughs> I had a good landing on that. This will be the last time I try this, then I'm going to move on. <laughs> well, okay. I missed my jump, so I got to try it again. And just drive out of it. Last time I picked it up by hand. Oh, why, yes. I forgot this is a monster truck. <laughs> yeah, I'm back over here. I have risked my axle housings enough. I've got the trill housings ordered, but you know, they're not here yet. Let's try some backwards donuts. <laughs> wow. That's what you get by not committing. Well, ah. Okay, this really is the last time. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. It's been about two minutes since I turned it off, so we do have a little bit of cool down time. Motor ran great. Let's check these headers. Oh yeah, they kept their cool too. Absolutely. Um, now I can tell you, it does feel like there's some warmth under the diffs, which is, uh, I guess kind of a new thing. There's a little bit of heat. You can feel it right in here as well. So uh, it's possible these things may need a really good grease job. By the way, this is what it got on 2S. 18.6 well guys another successful run uh, these electronics are fantastic the motor took it without overheating 4s ran great in the field you know like uh, 36 miles per hour 28 on 3s I did test a 2s right there at 18.6 or something like that so yeah speeds are perfect I think in a closed-in area, the 3S would be the perfect battery for it. In a tight area, maybe the 2S. But in an open field like that, 4S all day long. Now, I did mention I've got the Trill housings ordered. So, um, when I get confirmation or when they're actually here, at that point, it's going out for one, fat, one final drive on the plastic housings. And something will probably be broke. Um... I have been kind of babying it. I know when I hit that big jump on the back side, I knew there was bushes back there that would kind of cushion the landing and it seemed to work. 
but my landings are actually good. The truck is very drivable in the air as far as coming over. That one was a little wonky a little bit, but hey. Anyway, guys, I will put links in the description for all the modified parts in this, which is the Holmes motor, which, perfect, the Mamba Monster X ESC, the Raw 500 Servo, and the GT5. I mean, that's kind of all I've done to the thing. That's it. So, anyway, guys, uh, check that description. Make sure you're subscribed. Use those links. They are affiliate links. I By the time this video goes up, I may have Horizon as a new affiliate. So, yeah, you'll see more links down below. Anyway, guys, uh, hey, make sure you're subscribed. Ring that bell. All the good stuff. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you really like it, ring that bell so you get all the new content when it comes on out. Now, uh, starting up very soon, I'm going to start a giveaway for all channel members and it is going to be monthly. It will be a giveaway, simple, easy payment way to double your return on your subscription fees. So yeah, you might want to check that out. Guys, thank you all for watching.